Hi there, and welcome to today's YouTube How To Photoshop lesson. We're going to be looking at an artist called Doug Aitken today, and he did these amazing landscapes where he's taken four images, and he's rotated them by 45 degrees from each other, and created this sort of pyramid effect. It looks absolutely outstanding. I'm a really big fan. So we're going to have a go at doing that ourselves. So first of all, we're going to go over to our Photoshop. And in here, you can see I've got four photographs of the beach that I've taken recently and they're all regular pictures added to different layers of Photoshop you should all be familiar how to do that um, what we need to do now is make the canvas size a square so we're going to go image and canvas size we're going to make it nice round numbers 10 inches by 10 inches hit OK and then we've got a bigger canvas size next we need to rotate each of the pictures the right way um, we could do this manually by just turning them or if we press ctrl t we could actually type in a number i'm going to do this one 45 degrees and you can see it does it exactly where i want it click apply now we'll need that over here somewhere we're not sure exactly where we're going to put them yet so i'll just leave it there to make our lives a lot easier it would be really handy if we had a little grid to show where to put the pictures so if i drag a line from the ruler here across it will create a nice grid pattern if there's not one now i'll drag one down there and put it there okay then we know that this corner here has got to be down there so we can move this picture to where we want it in our space like that okay i'm going to hide that one do the next one and this one I'm going to rotate the other way so I'm going to click control T type in minus 135 that's too much as well that could work down the bottom actually so we apply that to go down there so we have that one there and we'll open that one and that one there and then you can see that they will create two sides of our arrangement so i'll just hide both of those now we need some the other way so this one control t and we're going to go with minus 45 okay that will go up there and then we'll go on to this one at the bottom layer and this one we will press control t go up here and we will go 135 center and then we'll move that one over here okay what i'm going to do really quickly is just hide the background layer so it's invisible so we can get a real idea of where the pictures are going to line up so we want that one there, and that one needs to be there. if it's not quite the right size we can rescale it make it bigger quite like the idea of having some of the sunset on that one so that can go there and press enter now this is the easy bit if i put these pictures back on top we can um play around with how they line up i think it's slightly see-through so i can get an idea of what's going on behind it arrange it to there make it back and see for it now all i've got to do this is the easy quick way to do it there you could use a layer mask you could do all sorts of fancy complicated stuff but i always like to keep it simple this is layer four so i'm going to click on layer four click ok i'm going to having made my selection go edit copy edit paste and hide the previous layer so you can see i've got that layer in there so we've got half of it done we need to find the other layer which is this one draw a box over this section here make sure on the right layer edit copy edit paste you can always press control c control v or if you want to be really fancy press control j that does it all for you now you can see we've got our four pictures arranged in the diamond pattern what we can experiment now is the arrangement i think personally that this one up 
in this corner here needs to have a little bit more land about there. So I'm going to stretch it down again. Bring it back up. Still needs to be a little bit bigger. Bring it in there. Make sure I've got no white. One more bit bigger. Now I'm feeling that a lot more. It's all about, in my opinion, getting the lines to fit just how you want them. So on this layer up here, I'm going to stretch that one a little bit as well. So that lines with that, that lines with that. Then what I'm going to do now is go down to this one. Stretch that in a little bit. See how I'm lining things up with certain aspects of the picture to create that dynamic effect. Like that one actually almost needs to be adjusted ever so slightly like that. So you just have fun experimenting, playing around once you've got the format. Now we don't want these green lines on it because it's making it look quite annoying. So if we go to view and show and we get rid of it guides you can see there is our response now i'm pretty happy with that i think that works really well and save that use that in one of our responses so the artist doug atkins does this reflective transform geometric portrait i hope you've enjoyed watching this video and um, if you have enjoyed watching this video before to check out quentin carpenter nature of flowers for more videos and remember to press the subscribe button okay thank you very much for watching and Enjoy.